Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Google Chrome web browser, version 116, which started rolling out on the 15th of August, once again late yesterday in my region. Now, as always, I had to double check if we have this update, we head up to our main menu, help about Google Chrome. Latest version in bold now sitting on version 116.0.5845.97. And if you are using Mac, Linux, or Windows, that point release should be either 96 or 97. So either or means you are up to date with this latest version 116. Now, as always, we get a lot of security fixes that have rolled out um, with version 116. Um, a total of 26 security fixes have been made available addressing 26 vulnerabilities. And although uh, Google doesn't mention any zero-day exploits, um, that have been exploited in the wild. Uh, we do get eight high-risk vulnerabilities that have been fixed, which uh, is your second highest after a critical, as many of you would know by now. And those eight high-risk vulnerabilities are common exploits in the open-source Chromium project, um, like use after free type confusion in the V8 JavaScript engine and out of bounds, just to mention a couple. So just double check that your browser is up to date because it is your first line of defense and 26 security fixes now available with version 116. Now, while we are talking about security fixes, as I've posted previously, uh, Google now is releasing security updates after version 116 now has been made available more often. So what is happening is they are now switching to a weekly security update cycle, which Google says is to reduce the time as they are calling bad actors have to exploit new vulnerabilities and i'll leave a link to the video i did post on that down below so after version 116 every week now google will start pushing out those all important security updates now when it comes to uh, new features and improvements uh, the majority of the so-called improvements and features and changes are developer focused which aren't going to be of interest to your average home user. But um, one worth mentioning is the new document picture-in-picture -picture mode, which now doesn't only just um, use picture-in-picture -picture for videos, as an example, you are watching on YouTube. Uh, with this now, picture-in-picture -picture, um, can be used now basically for documents. And I've posted a whole video um, on uh, the new document picture-in-picture uh, for Google Chrome and there are improvements to this now in version 116 where the website can provide custom controls and inputs uh, that will also provide new useful video conferencing controls to improve your picture-in-picture -picture, uh, video experience as an example. So it's not basically in a nutshell picture-in-picture -picture is not just for videos you can also view other things like documents and so on now in a pop window and I'll leave um, the video I did post down below where you can go check out on that document picture in picture if you would be interested. And there are more improvements now rolling out with version 116 now as mentioned. Now moving on, um, something else just to um, make mention of, which is quite a, a, a major improvement, um, which I have also posted on recently, is there are now there is now an update uh, for one-time permissions. Now I'll leave a link to that video down below as it will give you a lot more info. But when it comes to actual permissions, when you visit different websites, just to do a quick recap, when you visit a site that asks for permission um, for a certain feature, um, like your um, location or microphone, you can now basically temporarily allow the permission with a new allow this time uh, button that will appear. And before that, you could only block the request or click allow. So basically, that means you have a new allow this time. And in a nutshell, those so-called older options now have been renamed to allow on every visit and don't allow. And as mentioned, I'll leave a link to a video I did post recently on those permissions. And you can go check that out if you would be interested. And over and above that, I'm not noticing anything else new when it comes to user interface tweaks and adjustments or anything in that department. I was expecting a bit more of the Chrome UI refresh for 2023 to roll out when it comes to a little tweaks and adjustments that have been made maybe to toolbar icons or navigation icons and so on, but I'm not noticing anything at this stage. 
Um, I'm not really noticing anything new in the sidebar that's rolling out by default. But this could change over the next coming days um, because obviously as I get wind of these little changes that could have rolled out so-called under the hood that we're not actually noticing at this stage with version 116. I will obviously post and let you guys know. But for now, that's more or less what's new. As mentioned, m most of the changes are focusing on developer improvements, but just listing one or two here um, that would be made maybe of interest to your average home user. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.